relative velocity in a plane we have already studied relative velocity in a straight line and now we shall apply similar concepts to understand relative velocity in a plane first of all what is relative motion relative motion is the respective movement between two objects which are already in motion let us consider an example to understand relative motion the concept of heliocentrism and geocentrism heliocentrism is when we consider sun as the center of solar system and geocentrism is when we consider earth as the center of solar system so the motion as observed from these points of reference appears something like this it is clear that when sun becomes the reference point the motion of the planets as observed from the sun is in a circular path and when earth becomes the center the motion of the sun and the planets as observed from the earth is a rather complicated system now we know that sun being the center is the absolute concept while earth being the center as we observe from the earth becomes our relative motion now relative velocity in a plane to solve numericals in the examinations there are namely two concepts for relative velocity in a plane first one is independent motion independent motion is when two objects are moving independently but with respect to each other their motion is considered for example a car moving through rain then the angles at which the raindrops are striking the car that becomes your relative velocity for independent motion second one is object in medium motion when any object is affected by the motion of the medium then that is the relative velocity of object in medium motion for example the resultant velocity of an aircraft is affected by the presence of the wind blowing and the direction of the wind as well to solve numericals for relative velocity in a plane you have to follow three simple steps first understand the system understand what type of motion it is whether it is independent motion or it is the object in the medium motion then arrange the vectors draw the velocity vectors for the objects individually and then connect them to find the resultant vector or the resultant angle of incidence whatever is asked in the question first we shall have a look at an example for independent motion consider this question a car with vertical windshield moves along in a rainstorm at the speed of 40 km per hour the rain drops fall vertically with a terminal speed of 20 m per second find the angle at which the rain drops strike the windshield let us try to understand the system the car with vertical windshield is moving towards the right and the rain drop is falling vertically with a certain velocity so when they both move together then the motion is something like this now to apply the concept of relative motion we assume that the car is stationary and the drop is moving relative with respect to the car so the resultant motion will be like this now applying the vectors the car with vertical windshield moving towards the right let us say it has velocity vc the rain drop falling vertically downwards has velocity vd so the resultant velocity 
denoted by VR can be found out or in this case the angle of inclination at which the raindrop strikes the windshield will be theta so if this is theta then this will also be theta now for solving the numerical we reverse the direction of VC so we have the trigonometric settings for the vectors based on the given data velocity of car is 40 kilometers per hour we convert it into meter per second by multiplying with 5 by 18 that will be 200 by 18 meter per second you can simplify this now or you can simplify this later then velocity of drop is 20 meter per second already SI unit no need to convert hence tan theta in this right angle triangle if this is the theta then tan theta will be opposite upon adjacent so that will be 200 by 18 upon 20 substituting the values and simplifying we get the answer as theta equals to tan inverse 5 upon 9 based on the given options you can either simplify this further using the log tables or you can directly choose if this is your given option now practice similar questions so that you will make lesser mistakes during the examinations in the next video we shall discuss about object in medium kind of relative motion don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and share this video